The first thing that we need to do, of course, is hop onto the Mech Money website. From here, we can get into the financial calculator that allows us to do the balancing. So what we can do is hover over this tab right here, Mech Money Financial Calculators, and select the Portfolio Rebalancing Calculator. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Mech Money Calculator for balancing a portfolio. Now, in order to balance a portfolio, there's a bunch of information that you have to put into the calculator, and then it spits out the answer when you go ahead and submit the calculator itself. One of the things that we are looking for is how much money we want to put into our portfolio as a whole. And then what we're looking for from the calculator itself is the amount of money that we would add to each asset or even subtract. So that really means buy or sell within each asset. Now there are a bunch of information that's important to input into the calculator and we'll talk about that first. So using example one, we can see that we have three assets on the left hand side here numbered as such. What's important here is that one of them happens to be of an American currency and the others happen to be Canadian currency. When we talk about the second bit of information that's important, this is the amount of money associated with each asset. Now this being 12,500, this is actually in American dollars originally. However, now it's been converted and this is why it says Canadian dollars. Each of these are represented in Canadian dollars. It's very important that we have all of the same uh, currencies represented. The third item that's important is the weighting. Now of course you can find this in your investing plan. Have this ready as this is some information that's going to be placed into the calculator. So now let's go take a look at the calculator itself. The first thing that we need to do of course is hop onto the Mech Money website. From here we can get into the financial calculator that allows us to do the balancing. So what we can do is hover over this tab right here, Mech Money Financial Calculators, and select the Portfolio Rebalancing Calculator. Once we arrive at the Rebalancing Calculator page, we'll see the first screen. So the first screen is saying, what kind of quantity of assets are we looking to balance? This is the first item that we need to select. So we just saw from our example, I can go back to the example, we have three. So this is the bit of information that we're going to have to put in here. So we want to select three and then we can go to the next step. Once we're at the next step, we can go ahead and place the information in. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to move this over to the other screen so I can see exactly what to put in here and I'm going to go ahead and fire that information in. So when we go ahead and select balance the portfolio, it's going to give us an error. Your portfolio allocation must equal 100% and we can see that it doesn't. It actually equals 98%. So if it has this error pop up, you will not have any output associated with the calculation. It does not compute anything for you. So what you need to do is go ahead and change this. So in our Excel spreadsheet, this should actually be a 40 and then we don't need to have this uh, marked as an error. And then what we can do is go ahead and put in the amount that we're going to be adding to this uh, portfolio. So let's say that we're going to end up adding about $1,500 to this portfolio. So what we'll do is we'll end up hitting balance my portfolio. Now it computes the amount that we have to buy or sell. Now you can see here that EWC, it does not look like it did well because the current allocation is under what our target allocation is. And that's assuming that we are at this point in the previous balance or wherever we ended up purchasing. So it's sitting at 33.2 right now, which means we have to add $2,580. And then the other ones, this is sitting a little bit high and this is also sitting a little bit high, 4% over and 2.8% over. So that's why we have to sell 220. This is what the negative value represents, a sale of $220 of this particular asset. And then of course, a sale of $860 of this particular asset. When we do that, it then computes the new amount that we'll have within that asset. So we can see that we'll have $12,280 for the first one, $6,000 for the second, and $12,000 for the third. This gives us a new portfolio value of $30,700, where our existing one was $29,200. Now, a couple things that are important on this calculator page. You do not actually need to put the asset in here, this is completely optional. If you go ahead and fire that off, it's still going to work. And the reason why it works is because we don't need this value. This is just so we can kind of understand which amount of money is equal to whatever asset we're actually putting in there. And you'll see that as, as we get 
more of the assets into the calculator, it may become a little confusing if you don't actually have that in. Another thing that's important that I wanted to mention is you can actually add a zero amount. And this, is, this may happen if you're trying to balance your portfolio. So let's give that a try. If you're actually balancing with a zero amount, it's still gonna compute the, the amount here. Of course, your new port val portfolio value is gonna be 29,200, where your old one was 29,200 as well. And of course, when you go ahead and you subtract these values and add this value, it's gonna give you the new balance. And this new amount is gonna be equal to this target allocation once the um, computation is complete. Another thing that I have to point out is if you do need to take out money from this portfolio, that works as well. So we can go ahead and put in a negative $1,000 amount here. And that negative $1,000 amount is gonna be represented here where we have now only 28,200 as opposed to the original 29,200. And you can see that the corresponding amounts are here where we can see our new values. And they, they look like they matched 11,280 when both of these represent 40%. So that makes sense. And then this is half of that value. So everything is making sense with our calculator. So now let's go ahead and refresh the, the calculator. So we'll refresh this page and we want to try example two. So if we look at example two, this represents more of a realistic portfolio. Example two, these three are American assets. These few are Canadian assets. This is some international assets and this is all fixed assets. What's important here is again, our American stuff has been converted into Canadian dollar amounts. So that's Canadian dollars now. Uh, represented right here. We want to make sure that we're balancing all within one currency. That is very important for the balancing um, itself. So here's our corresponding weightings. I'm going to go ahead and fire this into the calculator. Let's bring that back up, move the Excel sheet over. So the first thing that I have to do here is, of course, select the amount of assets. Now I had nine showing in that example number two. I'm going to go ahead and select the next step here. So I'm going to take a moment to fill this out and then I'll see you when it's complete. Okay, so I've just finished completing all the information into the calculator. It took me probably in total just over a minute uh, to enter that information in. And then what I want to do is I want to tell the calculator how much I'm going to be adding, subtracting, or if any at all. So in this example, we're going to end up adding a more substantial amount. We're going to put $2,200 into the portfolio at the time of our balancing. And then just like what we've done in the past, we're going to go ahead and submit the calculator using the balance my portfolio button. When we select the balance my portfolio button, we get the new um, values kind of popping up. You won't be able to fill in any of the boxes here on the right hand side. These are all read only fields. We can't change these. The only thing that we're able to change is the first three, the top one. That's the only fields that we're allowed to actually edit. So once we have completed the calculation, we ran the actual calculator, it then spits out how much we need to purchase and sell, just like in the previous example. And you can see here, our American stuff looks like it's done um, quite well. So we have to sell a bunch of American stuff. And of course, remember, we're putting in $2,200. So we actually are going to have a little bit more money. Plus, we have to do some balancing in total. So this goes ahead and says we need to put $350 in this American ETF. we got to subtract $3,000 for this one. This is a, a tech-heavy growth option. So it makes sense. I just made these numbers up. But it makes sense that this thing actually goes up because that's what it did in real life. That's funny. And then we have $520 from VXF. And then the Canadian one, we have to subtract a bunch and some international we have to add. So you can see if you go ahead and you run through all of these and you, you purchase the assets that you need to buy and sell off the ones that you, you need to sell, you'll end up rebalancing your portfolio right back to your original target allocation amount equaling 100%. Your new portfolio balance will be $127,000. $739 and the old portfolio value that you had was $125,539 and um, that would be it. So balancing your portfolio does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very easy when we were able to use this application. You just put in all the information um, that can consist of your, your assets to keep things organized. You can see now we have a lot more of them here. These numbers may not mean anything to you, but when it's associated with one of these assets, we now know exactly how much we need to buy. So we're looking at 
a sale of $155 worth of the VRE. You'd be able to go ahead, jump into your brokerage account and do what you need to do in order to rebalance your portfolio. So if you're looking for any sort of information on ETS or index investing, make sure you invest in that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.